Hey guys, I just wanted to do a quick video about post-race recovery. Um, so this is probably more geared towards the long course guys who are racing half iron distance or iron distance um, or even uh, marathons, you know, so anything that's uh, over a few hours of racing. Um, and I guess the number one rule, um, and the reason I'm sharing a video firstly is because I see a lot of people getting it wrong. Um, but the number one rule for me is don't be a sloth, keep moving. So you might shift away from structured training and shift more to an exercise mindset. So you're, you're not training, you're removing some of the structure, um, but you're still moving and you're doing something most days. Uh, you want to keep the intensity low for the most part and the duration short and you can be fun and relaxed with it. Um, so... You know, and that might even mean that you go into doing some things a, a little bit different to what you'd normally do and staying outside of the routine. So a lot of us really like our structure and routine and that's okay to use that, you know, a typical week as your template. But within that, you can then mix it up. So, for example, you know, you might do a coffee shop ride um, or you might do a mountain bike ride or you go for an open water swim and, you you know, you don't wear your watch. I know that's tragic for triathletes, but... The theory being that you're not worried about your intervals, your time cycles, how fast you're going, how hard you're swimming, how long you go for even, and you just remove some of that structure, keep it relaxed, keep it fun, do some different things. So if this is at the end of your season, it's a little bit different. That might go for two to four weeks in duration, and that's what we would call a post-season before we get into our prep phase. Um, and when we get towards that phase of the season, um, we'll share some more content around that. Um, but if it's mid-season or in-season, um, it might be anywhere from five to ten days, depending on the individual and the event and what else is coming up and how well someone recovers, how hard they went, all of those things. But the key thing is, don't do nothing. Nothing is not recovery, and in fact, that will that will hinder the recovery process. Um, so you want to move, you want to relax, you want to try something different. And moreover, while you're doing this from a physical standpoint, you've got to, I guess, um, debrief or, or, or have a think about, you know, if you're, if you're working with a coach, you'd, have, you'd do a debrief. But even with yourself, you need to accept what happened within the race, whether that be good, bad or ugly. You need to learn upon it, reflect and then reset. And then when you resume training, you probably want to resume with more of an endurance focus and just focus on that first... Um, week or two again depending on how long the break is you want to focus on um yeah resuming your structure and making sure all those supporting supporting habits uh, are there and you're following sound practices with regards to that so good luck happy recovery enjoy your recovery time it's an important part of the process but don't be a sloth cheers